We farm 1,100 acres in Hamilton County, which all belong to my grandfather. We have um, locations at fields between 12 and 14 miles away, but the majority of our farming is done right around the farmstead here. And um, we're strictly corn and soybean rotation, no livestock other than cats. We started getting into the CRP when I became involved in, in watershed activities. As you get familiar with your land, you also recognize areas where water flows and you, you realize that um, driving through gullies or uh, wet spots is counterproductive and kind of dangerous in the spring. So it's natural to put those into permanent or even temporary several year wetland with the buffer around it. So the different programs which protect the, the most fragile areas. Um, like anything, the more you research, the more you find out, and you, you know you're not going to look forward to this particular spot's getting stuck every spring and possibly every fall. So the, the wetlands and the um, infield um, CRP areas are just a tremendous help in, in, in a smooth running operation. The field right north of this house where we're sitting in has a creek running through it. And as uh, farming progressed over the years, the farming practices became closer and closer to the creek. And it just was kind of scary opening it up in the fall, following the combine with the tractor and wagon. And you never know what happened throughout the growing season with that creek. And I always feared the combine would just disappear from sight into the creek. I think back in its day to prevent erosion, waste cement chunks had been put down in, in some areas. So we researched buffer programs and put in a 120 foot wide buffer along either side of the creek. Nature is not stagnant, so creeks move. Creek banks and, and streams and move. So with a 120 foot buffer on either side, we've got um, protection for our equipment and, and us, and it also provides, um, well, for the critters that, that used to live along there and still live along there. Tremendous benefits from these various programs. Um, the gullies that that are no longer gullies, which would, would be dangerous to drive through, um, have become grassy areas which still absorb um, the water, but they don't, they don't flow through the field. The water does not flow through the field and, and taking assorted nutrients and, and soil with it. Like anything, the more you research, the more you find out, learn, and it, it just becomes an important part of the program just so the farming operation can run smoothly and you, you know you're not going to look forward to this particular spots getting stuck every spring and possibly every fall. The wetlands and the infield CRP areas are just a tremendous help in a smooth running operation. Mm -hmm.